Hi everyone, welcome to this journey with me. My name is Sanya and today I am here to share with you a really powerful embodiment practice. This practice is taken from the method Holistic Somatic Healing, which I teach and share with people all over the world. And today I'll give you a little bit of a taster of what this can do for you and why it's such an important element on this path that we are on both individually and as a group and if you will, collectively. So Holistic Somatic Healing will allow us to really work with a basic principle, which is as we awaken the dormant structures in the body, we also awaken the hidden structures in our emotional space, in our spiritual space, in our mental space. That is why for this, this particular session, we will look at two really important parts of the body and also energetic centers, the heart and the womb or the hara. So it's usually called womb for women and hara for men. Now, why are these two parts of the body so important? Well, the rib cage, the heart space, is really important for us to be able to move freely and also to experience range of motion and just the general openness towards life. The rib cage itself tends to get quite stiff in our day-to-day -day lives, which means that it loses its flexibility and therefore also impacts the spine where it actually plugs right back into in the back. So the ribs do connect to the spine and are an important part of keeping our spine flexible, of being able to just walk comfortably and move comfortably in this world. Of course, we also have the more, let's say, ethereal or energetic consideration of the heart space. And really what we want to do is free up these physical structures to allow for a flow of circulation of trophism to come into the space which tends to make us so much more open towards life and also able to integrate what it is that's coming next and really be fully ready for it i mentioned trophism and trophism is a key aspect that i work with in my practice it is about awakening the body structures so that it, they have now this is how trophism is defined it's the body's ability to release waste material and absorb nutrients so any structure in the body depends on that process its health almost almost entirely depends on that process and as we look at body parts that we oftentimes neglect and that are actually sometimes really powerful in many ways we will see that we can bring that trophism to them same goes for the pelvis and i have a pelvic model here that will help us explore the womb space or the hara space and it might be the first time you're doing this and it might be even a place that well you have been taught is really weird or taboo and that's actually because it's very powerful so the great part about holistic somatic healing is that we always work with self-empowered body work so there's no reason or need for you to do this with anybody else it's a very personal experience and the practices are really easy so you can do them just as you are now just as i am now and they are very effective Another added element to this is that really the heart space is said to connect us to the upper realms, right? To the sort of more ethereal energetic realms. But what is oftentimes forgotten is that this upper part of the body and even the crown here that is called sometimes the crown chakra isn't necessarily the only crown that we have because in the more uh, forgotten side of spirituality, which is a more feminine embodied side, we say that the pelvic cradle, the womb space and the hara, which is the word for, uh, let's say, the masculine space that, that resides here for men, that this is actually another crown and it's an earth crown. And in that sense, you can think of it even just symbolically or energetically as something that connects us to the earth, connects us to the shamanic realms, connects us to a spirituality that is all about the body, right? And so what is really important in this period for many of us is to not go into concepts, to not go too much into the mental space and the ethereal energetic space, but to really integrate the body as a part of our process of evolution that is being so catalyzed in the last months and years for all of us. And if you do that, you'll notice that you actually have, yes, a general openness towards life, but then working with the pelvis with that lower crown brings up a lot of creative potential. It brings up a lot of bliss and that's for both men and women. So I invite you to really experience this as a way for you to awaken these two key centers and start 
bringing them into communication with each other, right? And it's often said that the womb or the hara, as it's called in men, is actually our second heart. So it's a forgotten connection that is spoken about in ancestral t traditions. And I am here today to not just talk to you about it and give you a few words about it, but to actually come to some of the more, let's say, physical underpinnings that we can use to make this a real lived experience to awaken these parts and to really shift our perception of ourselves, of our inner sensation, to allow our intuition to flow more freely. That is often the result of this embodied work. So what I'll ask you is to just have a place behind you or to the side of you or in front of you where you will be able to lie down. So just prepare a yoga mat on the floor or if you don't have a yoga mat, you can go with a couple of layers of towels or uh, blankets, just anything that will give you a little bit of warmth. Now for this work, we don't actually come to lie down on a bed. That's really important because as you lie on the bed, you, you will have not the same, you won't have the same effect. There are these muscles in the body, which are called postural muscles. Many of them are along the spine and they really maintain our posture all day long, no matter what we're doing. The only way they fully relax is if you're lying on a hard surface. So I encourage you to do that. Uh, just take a moment to find one right now. If you haven't done so already, either again with blankets or with a yoga mat on the floor. And once you've done that, I'll ask you to come, well, we'll do this with the body first. So I'll ask you to become aware of your pelvic cradle. So again, this exercise works really well for both men and women. And the way we'll do this is if you could find a seated position on a pillow or on the floor, somewhere where you feel comfortable, maybe even a block so that your pelvis is slightly elevated. Once you've done that, come to slide your hands under from behind and you can even put, pull the sit flesh out in order to feel those pointy parts that you're sitting on more clearly. Just take a moment to do that. So sliding your hand all the way down to feel those pointy parts. These two pointy parts are actually your sit bones. And you can see them here. This is a pelvis seen from the front. And if you see it from the back, it looks like this. And your sit bones are right here. So these are the parts that you sit on. And that's why you see also this kind of pointy protuberance right here. Mm -hmm. So these are two important points that we'll work with when we awaken that sort of lower heart, which is the pelvic cradle before moving on to the chest that's next afterwards okay so just identify these two parts make sure that you felt them as you've been sliding your hand under both sides and then we'll actually move on to two other parts that are really important in this exercise so I'll ask you to locate this part which is called the pubis mm -hmm. and probably most of you are able to do that fairly easily because it's just where your abs begin the abs begin here, they insert into the pubis at the top ridge. And it's also where your hairline begins, right? Going down. So it's pretty easy to identify. If you place your hand there, you will feel some flesh covering it, but mostly it's a hard part. So just try to find the pubis, the pubic bone. And once you're there, see if you can walk your fingers up and down its height to notice that it actually has a height. And then once you've done that, just place your hand on the back all the way down, like on your back as far down as you can slide it. And as you do that, you'll notice that your hand kind of fits in very, very snugly into that space. So the more you slide your hand down, you're gonna reach the sacrum, which is this structure in the middle right here. And the sacrum actually has something called the coccyx at the very end. So I'll ask you if you can just identify that with your hand. So it's usually where your middle finger would land. And once you've done that, just close your eyes for a moment. <sighs> Take an inhale through the nose. and exhale through the mouth. Let's do this again. Inhaling through the nose. Ah, 
and exhale through the mouth. Wonderful. So what I'll ask you now is with your eyes closed in this seated position, I'll ask you to tune into your sit bones again, these two parts that we identified. And internally begin to see a string that is connecting these two points. Just see it internally. And just continue breathing normally. Do not interrupt your breath. And I'll ask you now to shorten that string. Give that instruction to the body that you want to shorten that string. What happens here? What do you feel happening here? And relax the string. Just take a moment to integrate. Let's do this again. Two pointy parts of the sit bone. See them connected by a string and it really helps when you close your eyes for this. And then ask that string to shorten. Feel that in the body. What do you sense? Continue breathing and relax the string. Again, taking a moment to integrate this. Let's do this one more time together. See the string connecting the two pointy parts. And as you continue breathing normally, just ask your body to shorten that string. And relax the string. It's very likely that you will have felt something, could have been energetic or perhaps more physical. Just stay with the subtle sensation. Now, we'll actually do the same for the other two parts that we identified. So again, I remind you, here is the pubis. And you can place your hand just there, allow yourself to connect with this part. It's a very intimate part, so this may be new for you. Just rest assured that actually your awareness and your creative potential does build a lot when you come into this sort of creative route. And then from here, just walk up and down with your fingers on the front of the pubis so you can see that it has a height, right? And the part we're focusing on is the bottom part of the pubis right here, that bottom ridge, okay? And then as a reminder, just find your coccyx again, which is all the way down when you slide your hand and your hand kind of lands between your buttocks and it almost can't go further. Where the middle finger lands, that's where your coccyx is, okay? So just identifying those. And from here, again, close your eyes. I can take a sigh out. And I ask you to imagine a string that connects the bottom part of the pubis with the coccyx. See that string internally. And then ask your body to shorten that string. And relax the string. <sighs> Let's do this again. See that string internally connecting these two points. And ask the body as you continue breathing normally to shorten those strings, that string, to bring those two points closer together. What do you feel in the body? And relax. Just taking a moment to integrate. Notice if any words or associations or images are arising, because that is your portal to dream time, that space which includes your intuitive self, your rational self, your imagination, a vital messenger for us. Notice if anything arises.
and then we'll do it one more time. See the string connecting the two points, bottom of the pubis with the coccyx and ask the body to shorten that string. Feel what's happening here, feel that in your body. Stay with it for a moment and relax. <sighs> Come to lie down on a mat or a blanket you've prepared on the floor. I'll be guiding you with my words just to keep the camera in the same position here, but it'll be a very gentle step-by-step -step guidance. Lying on the back, bend your knees and place your feet on the floor with the knees pointing up. And from here, I would like us to begin awakening that second center in this practice, which is the rib cage, the heart space. You can look at me as you're practicing this. What I'll ask you to do is very simple as you're lying on the floor, back flat on the surface, beneath you, knees bent, pointing up, feet on the floor. Let's do this. Let's come to place our hands on our chest. So both hands on your chest as you're lying down. Then move them to the chin and see if you can rotate the forearms. Move to the forehead and then move your hands all the way up behind you to the floor. And then come down the same way you went up. Let's do this again with both arms. Hands touching chest, chin, forehead, floor. Feel that opening in the rib cage as it's being pulled now. And then come down the same way. Forehead, chin, chest, beside you. Now just follow my words as I guide you through this and see if you can also as you come, as you as you raise the hand to the chin, just rotate the arms in. And now let's do this on an inhale. As you inhale, place your hands on your chest, come to the chin, forehead, floor behind you, and exhale back the same way, forehead, chin, chest, floor. Notice what's happening with your rib cage and really feel that opening as you raise the arms up. Let's do this again. Inhale, hand on chest, chin, forehead, floor. Feel the opening of the rib cage on both sides and exhale, same way down, chin, forehead, chest. Let's do this again. Inhale, chest, chin, forehead, floor with both arms. Reach up, feel that. And maybe you can also keep the inhale here. Feel the rib cage open and exhale. Come down. If you're feeling a yawn coming on, that is amazing because that means that our main breathing muscle, the diaphragm, is relaxing. Let's do this one more time and we'll keep the rib cage open at the top. Inhale, chest, chin, forehead, floor behind you, inhaling here. Keep the inhale. See if you can feel the rib cage open here, really, really open. What does it feel like? And exhale, chin, no, forehead, chin, chest, and floor. And now just as a reminder to round it all off, let's come back into the root as we connect the two, as we connect these two creative centers together. Come to identify the four points again. So they are in a different orientation right now. Your sit bones, find your sit bones, slide your hands to find them. 
then find your pubis in the front, especially the bottom part of the pubis, and you can roll to the side to find your coccyx. And again, see those strings, one connecting the two sit bones and one connecting the bottom of the pubis with the coccyx. Now, just like we have shortened those strings before, I'll ask you to now shorten them at the same time. Continue breathing and shorten both strings. See if you can send that intention to raise the energy up and shoot it up to the heart as you do that. Both strings shorten. What does it feel like? And relax. Let's do this again. And last time, imagine that energy lifting up to your heart and really feeling that in your anatomy, in your body as we do this exercise. See the two strings connecting the sit bones and the other one connecting pubis and coccyx and shorten the string as you continue breathing just normally shorten the string see the energy feel it moving up to the rib cage to the heart space and relax the strings you can just stay lying here i invite you to extend your legs forward place your hands just by the side of your body with the palms facing up in a receptive gesture and from here, close your eyes and begin to see a golden light in the heart space and in your pelvis, your womb or hara space, that creative center that we want to connect and awaken with the heart. Begin to see a figure of eight, like a golden spiral, a line moving between those two centers as it goes up to the heart bringing nourishment of that earth energy from the pelvis into the heart into the higher upper chakras and then as it goes down bringing the energy of the heart back into our pelvic space our creative sensual selves Stay with this and circulate this throughout your body, throughout the two centers. What does this golden energy feel like? If you can see it and imagine it internally. Begin to feel your body heavy on the floor, your feet relaxing down, supported, your calves relaxing down, supported, your thighs relaxing down, supported, your pelvis heavy, relaxing down on the floor, and supported. Your spine, its entire length, relaxing on the floor, supported. Back of your head, relaxing on the floor, fully supported. Your arms and hands, heavy on the floor, fully supported, relax. Bring awareness to your jaw and relax it down, opening the mouth gently. Relax your tongue. Bring awareness to your eyebrows and relax the muscles here, unclench. Bring your awareness to your eyeballs. Relax them into the skull, heavy, supported, relax. Stay with this relaxation and feel your body deeply carried by the earth as you open to the next step in your evolution, in your integration, in your embodiment. So much love to you.